First question is from Blaze84. When returning to a 1-5 to five rep phase from 8-12 to 12 and or 15-20 to 20 reps, do you continue using the same weight from your last 5 rep max, add or remove a few pound, pounds, or start back at my 5 rep max and see how I feel and go from there? That's a hard one yeah. to answer because yeah. there's going to be a, a lot of variance. Well, I'll tell you what I do. Um, so let's say I trained for three weeks in a low rep range, right? One to five. And then I, next few weeks I go eight to 12. And then the next few weeks I go 15 to 20. And now it's time to go back to my one to five rep range. I start my workouts with what I finished with. And my last time I was in that phase to feel it out. Now, usually what happens, and now I've been doing this for so long that that doesn't always happen because at this point to get my body to continue to progress, now I'm kind of hitting, I feel like I'm hitting certain genetic limits or whatever. But I, I typically feel, uh, you know, because I keep a log, right? And I'll do what I did the previous time I did the low rep range, and I'll find that I could squeeze out an, another rep oh, okay, or I so, can add a little bit of weight. So let me get, that, get this straight. Now, you start back where you started before on that one to five, not where you finished. No, where I, where I finished the one to five phase in. Wow. The last time I left it at. So exactly, that's what I'm saying. So yeah. let's say you just went through a phase, and let's just use deadlift to make sure, it easy. Where you peaked. Sure. So yeah, you 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 start back where you peaked. I'll st I'll start back to where I feel like uh, I got to, and if I was comfortable there, that's uh, usually where I'll go. So let's say I, I I finished my first one to five rep range, and I was able to get you know five reps with four fifty or something like that. I'll grab four fifty. Now, if it was a single, I won't do that. So I'm glad that's 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 good. I should I should clarify. If it was one rep, I'm not going to go back to my last one rep max because if it is heavy or too heavy, I, there's nowhere for me to go. Well, yeah, I I'll pick like the four or five rep. Yeah, so I typically go back to the exact same weight that I started the that phase before. But what I notice is that like it's easier. Let's sure. like you know, let's just say for again using the deadlift as an example. I just let's say a running at that's map, probably better advice for most people. Maps anabolic, yeah. and you know I, I start off when I'm working, you know reps of five. You know I start off in week one, and I'm and I'm doing let's just say for argument's sake, you know three seventy five or something. Uh, you know and then I go through the whole fa strength phase, and maybe I, towards the end I'm I'm now pulling in the mid fours or something. And then I move into the next phase. Well, then I come back around. I still start back at 375 uh, just for safe reasons and to see where I'm at. Plus, like you're, to your point, you know, it's rare that I get, I'm making huge leaps, strength leaps. So I can normally just tell right away what the 375 feels like in comparison to last time. And yeah. if I've done a good job of following. The then you jump up substantially. Yeah, right? exactly. The, the jump, it's easier. Yeah, the jumps yeah, are bigger. That's what I do. Right. So the jumps are bigger. So now where it took me, you know, all the way through the phase to get from 375 to maybe 450 or something, maybe I'm at 450 within weeks two or three right mm -hmm. away. So yeah. it's just. Uh, typically, that's kind of how I do it, but yeah, that's why it's hard though, because it, it depends it, on who you got. It's you, such a feel thing for me too with that. Well, yeah, so. think of how you have a new, like a new client can get these types of gains, right? Like if it's a first time someone's ran, like they've never ran like a really good program where they've structured it, and they they purchase anabolic, they're running through it, and they run through one time, and they come back a second time. A lot of times, that person coming to this can do exactly what you said, Sal. They can start at their what they peaked at mm -hmm. because their body is responding so well to this to actually programming legitimately that they when they come back around the second time. So it yeah, really depends so, on where. So you're let at. me let me clarify mm -hmm. because that's a great point that you bring up. Um, I w I think if you're doing it this way, what you need to do if you pick the weight that you used last time in that rep range, pick the weight that you used at the upper part of the rep range because. If it's what you did five reps with and the range is one to five and then you try it again and you're like, oh, I'm not any stronger or maybe you regressed, which is unlikely, mm -hmm. at least you could drop reps. You don't want to go with the one rep max because yeah. now you're screwed. Where do you go from there? But more often than not, this is what happens unless your diet is off and all that stuff. Yeah. If, you're, if you're nowhere near your – because you got to keep in mind everybody has a potential – you have a genetic potential, and at the bottom of that potential is you being totally inactive, you know, sitting on the couch all day, eating terribly, not taking care of your body. At the top of that potential is what you can achieve when you've got a great workout. It's programmed appropriately for your body. You've got a great diet, good sleep, good lifestyle, all that stuff. So there's your potential, and then, of course, how long you've been training and whether or not you're hitting that upper limit. So if you're, if you're not at your total potential, if you haven't reached your genetic potential yet, Following a program like that, you're going to find that you're going to be stronger when you revisit those old phases. It's just you can actually 
almost expect it. Uh, but of course, consider lots of different factors. I wouldn't expect it if the first time you did it, your diet was on point, you were sleeping good, and the second time around, everything else was off. But the progress you should see is should be pretty damn consistent. And people have told me that they enjoyed the second and third round of a MAPS program more than the first round because then they've gone through it. They can modify it a little bit. They know how their body's responding. And the second time around, their body responds uh, even better.